Hello and welcome to Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you. It's kind of an ongoing series on the whole gay marriage issue. Um, I was thinking about it today, and one of the things I understood, in my mind at least, was one of the things that's propelling the whole lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual, and queer movement is an ongoing fixation in America with the idea that if we feel like doing something, we must do it. And this is not something new at all. This goes back all through history. And there's even really bizarre instances of how this has manifested itself as uh, like some of these cults of the Dionysian cults in ancient times where people would seek after the sort of the, the spillover into just excess. And um, what we see in our culture today is because of so-called capitalism is really not capitalism, it's a fascism that is based on the central control of fiat currency and in the origination point of fiat currency is partial reserve lending. Partial reserve lending is when you put money in the bank and the bank squares up, down, and sideways that you can get your money back any time and then turns right around and lends it. This, folks, is the reason why banks fail. Banks don't fail because of a bunch of complicated economic ups and downs and the regulations and Fannie and Freddie Mae and Mac and what. No, no. When you take somebody's money and you swear to them that they can have it back any time they want, and then you go and lend it, that's called a lie. <laughs> and that is the way that our economy works. That's the introduction point into Western culture of fiat currency, fake currency, currency we are required to use by law that nevertheless has no foundational value. Almost anything can be used as currency. Wheat used to be stored in cities and used as a type of currency. You remember pork bellies back in the day. It's an investment. Anything that keeps and holds value can be used as a form of currency. Fiat currency, fake currency, slips of paper that represent money that's not actually in the bank, or not actually available to lend, I should say, that is the original nation point of our fiat currency. And then requiring people to use fake currency transfers an actual free market economy into a centrally controlled economy that we can pretend <laughs> it's a free market economy. So, and, and this is why socialism and capitalism are actually the same thing. Socialism is an idea that capitalism will develop into something else. But capitalism is not going to develop into something better. It is fascism, and it will develop into more fascism until people understand that you can't have a magical la-la land where you put your money in a bank who swears that you can have it back any time you want it while also lending it. That's a lie. It's never going to work, and that is the status quo right now. And then there's a law that passed this, it's called the legal tender laws. You have to use it, and you have to use it to pay your taxes. So, of course, we do not have a free market. Well, Shane, I thought you were talking about gay marriage. Because when you have an entire economy based on something that is fake, that fake thing seeks out real things of value to undergird and wrap itself around. That's why housing skyrockets, education, healthcare, anything of real value, the fake money is put there by way of investing. That is to say, buying up all the things of real value. So that you have this fake money that's just constantly produced, and then in order to have anything of actual value, you have to spend the fake money somewhere. You have to spend it because the money itself just constantly, slowly dissipates in value because of the inflation, because of the way... In order to get interest on a loan, when all of the money is loans, <laughs> you have to make more money, that is to say, create more money, in order for it to be available to come back to you as interest. So there always has to be a little bit more money flowing into the economy in order to enable the lending that then brings in the interest. 
And this is how this artificial circulation goes. They inject more money through more loans, and, uh, and then those loans come back in the form of interest-bearing repayments, and more and more money is created, thus the constant inflation that we see. And in order for an economy like that to work, people need to buy. So that's what you hear about consumerism all the time. Oh, this consumerism, it's terrible, they say, while laughing all the way to the bank, which they own, control, and manipulate the economy with. You know, because really what they're laughing all the way to is their big giant mansions where all of your work goes to make them richer, to feed their children, to put their children through inflated educational systems, to lord over you and make you worthless and destroy your life. Buy, buy, buy. And what is the moral and ethical foundation of an economy like that? Impulse. We cannot have people thinking that they should resist their impulses. Homosexuality, as defined by the APAs, American Psychologists and American Psychiatrists, is an orientation encompassing an impulse. We cannot allow people to resist their impulses and continue to have an economy like the one we have. This is why so-called conservatives need to get off their backsides about culture issues. Social Security is your family. You don't take care of your children. Your children hate you because you're a drunk. You abuse them. You neglect them. You abandon them. You're on the street. Okay, family is not some sort of fiction to be destroyed and remade at will. It is the foundational unit of a society. And really, I don't know what more obvious sign anyone would need that there is a God than the fact that the only people who seem to get this anymore are Christians. Because you would think that more than anyone, an atheist, who bases their entire universe on the idea that the universe just happened and that things just happen, would see the pattern developing here, and they would be very keen to cling to the pattern that works. Because there's no God coming to rescue you if you're an atheist. So you need to make sure what you do works. And yet we don't see that. So if you want to know one of the many reasons why I'm a Christian, Look at the nonsense that atheists do. So to wrap this up, the point is very simple, even after all that blithering. We have gay rights today because we must have impulse behavior. We have to have impulse behavior because our economy is based on a fiat currency system whereby the money has to constantly circulate or else the whole system collapses. We must have people out there. Buy, 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 buy. We can't have people thinking and waiting and weighing. We need people to buy. We need people to buy. And in order to get people to buy and buy and buy, we have to let them do whatever their impulses tell them. And if the impulses tell them to go have sex with a dog or a cat or a mole or somebody of the same gender or their mommy or their daddy or their sister or their brother, whatever, that's what we have to let them do. Or else the economy, well, because we're just at that brink now. It just keeps falling down. It just keeps falling down. And these folks think, well, you know, you need to loosen up the chains of, you know, the change of the economy and just get people out there more and more. And it's just, it's slowly falling apart. Because it doesn't work. Thanks again for watching Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you very much.